Hi, this is Joe Payone with CE Week TV. I'm here with Michael Armani, CEO of M3D. Um, tell me a little bit about the company and about the, the history of this product. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate that. Um, so we're M3D, and we were founded only two and a half years ago. And we came up with this idea for a, a compact, lightweight, quiet consumer 3D printer and revealed it in the same building, in this Metropolitan Pavilion, uh, February last year. And that's when we announced we were going to do a Kickstarter. And uh, of course, you hear about a lot of 3D printer Kickstarters. And what we decided would make ours different is not just affordability or appearance, but also performance. So tying all three things in together and having a pitch, a mojo, you know, something that really jives with people, it hadn't really been done perfectly before. And so uh, we came out here and announced it, and we were kickstarted to the tune of 3.4 million in one month actually a million in our first 24 hours. And uh, to this day, still the biggest crowdfunded 3D printer project in history. And the reason is it, it's the value of this printer resonates so strongly with our users. And um, where we're at today, about a year later, we've delivered about 10,000 plus units and we're going into 15,000 now. And we're shipping in about two weeks if you order right now. Uh, we've kept the price at 349. A lot of times these things you know, start at 200 just to get the attention and then they go up several hundred dollars when they're in retail and we've found a way to keep it the same while manufacturing it here in the United States through a lot of innovations. There are quite a few consumer 3D printers on the market. Um, what makes yours unique and what makes yours a superior buy? Great question. Um, so M3D is a tech company at its inception and all we do is innovate and create new products. Um, so this is really just one of the first um, the Micro 3D printer really set the standard for consumer 3D printers, so when you see their products and you read their pitches, you see a lot of legacy in there. The Micro is the first printer to have the filament spool built in the base of the printer. I can show you that real quick. Um, so we have a micro filament spool, one of these, and that goes under the print bed. So you can keep everything compact and sleek. And before that, there was a giant filament spool you know, hanging out the side of the printer. We were one of the first 3D printers to put sleek, smooth curves on the side of the printer um, to keep the appearance you know, safe and comfortable and also to keep you from getting hurt if the thing ever fell on you. Um, we are we're offering open source compatibility with common standards like G-Code, as well as having an external port if you want to use somebody else's standard 1.5 millimeter or 1.75 millimeter filament. Um, and the list goes on. You know, we kept it as open as we could. We don't cartridge it like other consumer uh, 3D printers do. Um, as they're following suit. So uh, we've kept it open the entire time. Going forward, uh, where do you see the 3D printing industry headed and um, where is your place in, in that ecosystem? So 3D printing is, is very special in that there's as many applications as there are people. And we're starting to see that same segmentation with printers. There's no one lead printer. There's a lead printer maybe in each segment, like the micro 3D printer is the lead in the consumer segment. If you want something that you want to give to your kids or bring into your house, have it be quiet and feel safe about using it because it's you know, safety certified, that sort of thing. There's also other printers that are huge, that are uh, versatile, that have four extruders on their head. So there's a lot of segmentation. Um, N3D will definitely be a thought leader when it comes to bringing new materials and new technologies at an affordable price. And again, we've done that with retail. Right now we're going retail in a couple weeks, keeping the price point the same. Another example of what we've done is we've created the first color changing filament line. So with all the uh, 40,000 filaments that are on Amazon, we're the only one that's selling a color change. And what that does is it allows you to see the temperature of what you're printing. So I'll give you a quick demo of what that does. So here's an example. I'm just gonna take a lighter to it to generate some heat. And what you're seeing is the pigment particles reacting to the temperature. And the printer's doing the same thing. The printer has a filament that cools below 45 centigrade, it's turning orange. And that's, it's part novelty, but it's also a really cool exploratory material. It really engages children. It's also really good if you want to optimize or just visually see the effects. So um, we offer nine colors right now in color change. Um, we're just going to keep innovating. We're going to keep releasing new materials, new flexibles are coming down the road. And of course, new products that we haven't revealed yet are in the works as well. Very cool. Well, thanks, Michael, and thanks for watching CE Week TV.